my father was discriminated against by a fairly large utility company here in Arizona. And I saw dad suffer through trying to become a foreman. They couldn't get his position because of who and what his ethnic background was. So I promised myself that I would be part of that change, that I would in fact be an activist. I also learned during that process that it's not just about the structures, it's not just about the houses. What is the impact on the family that you're helping? What are their challenges and how can you help as an organization or as an individual that's involved in community development? It's about having heart and soul in your mission. Because if you don't have a sense of the family itself, it's difficult for you to communicate and more importantly, to get their trust. Because community development is about building trust in the community that you serve. understood it wasn't just about the dollars. Are we truly serving families? Because if you're not, then you're just doing a deal. We felt that education was going to be key for our community, especially Latinos and Afro-Americans in the country. So we did zero in on learning about charter schools, parochial schools, universities that were serve the poor or serving communities that were lacking good educational vehicles. That became to some degree, our calling card across the country. When I think of RDF, I think of all the great people that I've gotten to work with. The energy level and the willingness to work for our community and serve, it's phenomenal. The other is the thousands and I don't know how many families we've touched over the last 23 years in the community itself. Life is good. God is good. The blessed weather has blessed me with this great opportunity to serve, and I'm just a small piece of it in the scheme of Raza development as a whole. <laughs> <laughs>